And with that, we'll get back to the fun stuff. Um, it's time to introduce the NMPA songwriter icon. Our past icons have included some of the true legends of the music industry. Billy Joel, Sting, Steven Tyler, John Bon Jovi, Steve Cropper, Diane Warren. And yet this year's NMPA songwriter icon definitely belongs in that company. Pharrell Williams has achieved amazing success as both an artist and a producer, but never forget, because I know he won't let you forget, that he is first and foremost a songwriter. The only title that may challenge that of songwriter is dad, as Pharrell is the proud parent of new triplets. Congratulations to that, Pharrell. The list of song credits that are to his name are endless and perhaps most amazing is that he has actually created a sound that is uniquely his own. So please join me in welcoming eight time, 18 time, excuse me, NMPA Golden Platinum certified, 26 time Grammy nominated, 10 time Grammy winner, two time Academy Award nominated, and now NMPA centennial songwriter icon, Pharrell Williams. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you and congratulations to the NMPA on your centennial. Um, I've just had like a really long day. <laughs> and uh, these days things have just been a bit um, surreal. And this is another one of those moments where it's like really surreal. It's like, man, what am I doing here? I walked up to the green room and Smokey Robinson's on the couch. And Patti Smith is sitting there with her daughter. Smokey Robinson is on the couch. <laughs> Patti Smith is there with her daughter. <laughs> this has been crazy. And then the uh, Amazon presentation was just like, I was like, okay, um, what about some other people? <laughs> it was so nice, but it felt weird being prime. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you guys and what an honor. Thank you fellow songwriters and everyone here in the room that have made careers out of helping us do what it is that we do. Any door that I've, I've ever been in it's been opened for me um, by songwriting. Anything that you guys have ever seen me do that has something to do with, or nothing to do with music, you should know that music has been the skeleton key that's opened every door for me. Um, We had a celebration today for one of my buddies that uh, just passed. I'm going off script here, sorry. And um, let me just tell you, if you love somebody, friend, family, whatever, the doctor tells you something, you don't not talk about it. You got to talk about it so that you can get some support from your friends, support from your family. And if you see somebody around you that's ailing, we gotta do something about it. We can't just sit back. And I know this is not what you guys are asking me for, but you know what? I'm a songwriter and these are the things that, these are the things that haunt us until we talk about it. Like I said, I had a really long day. 
And as I said to you guys earlier, like I would not be up here right now if it weren't for songwriting, you know? Um, and I'm just so grateful. Um, I have a script. Something else is on my heart. I'm standing here right now. Smokey Robinson was upstairs. <laughs> Patti Smith and her daughter was upstairs. It's a lot. And I gotta tell you, like, if it weren't for songwriting, I would not have these experiences. I would not get to meet these iconic legends who have, have songs that, like, make babies and songs that are there for you when you need consoling. Songs that are there for you when someone is passing. Songs that are there for you when it's someone's birthday. Stevie Wonder wrote the best happy birthday song in the world. Where would we be as a species if we didn't have great songwriting? That's why these songwriters need to be protected and that's why what Marty was up here talking about is so important. We have to look out for the songwriters. The performers are awesome, but what do they have to perform if it weren't for the songwriters? So grateful to be amongst you guys and we have to protect the songwriter. And we gotta protect our friends and family that are sick, man, like it's real. It's real what's going on in this world right now. And of course you see it's real what's going on in this country. Nobody wants to talk about it because everybody has a side. There's so much divisiveness. Love, man, love. And when I disagree with your point of view and you disagree with the things that I have to say, I've seen it happen. Songs bring people together. So I, I don't have the best speech in the world, but I, you know, I'm hurting right now, but I definitely want to thank some people. So can you scroll down? <laughs> Um, I first want to thank Marty Bandier because you've been there like from the very beginning. Um, just thank you so much, man. Like you just have been unwavering in my career and to so many others. And um, I know you dispute the, the age and how long you've been doing it, but I don't know how I was to explain, you fit so many incredible um, writing, songwriting relationships with so many people. So thank you, Marty. You're still younger than me. Brian Monaco, thank you. Rick Krim, Danny Strick, and all of the Sony ATV family always had your arms around me. Also, Irvin Azoff and Randy Grimmett at GMR. Can't believe I'm a partner. Thank you. Um, it's great work that we're actively doing right now. It's awesome. So thank you. And my big brother, Big John, who's just never left my side ever. You know, family wedding, funeral, whatever it is, you are always there, big bro. And even when I would go off and make stupid deals that you warned me about, you were right there to be like, okay, we'll fix that. I appreciate that, big bro. I've learned so much from you. And congratulations as you're off doing your own thing now. Um, and also Jordy Gerson, who put a lot of really comprehensive work um, before she left and went off to go do her amazing thing. Um, she did some amazing work for me and, and helped me out in a major way, and I appreciate her. 
her fine work and her heart and everything that she put into it. It's been awesome. Ron Lafitte, my big bro. Thanks for coming into my life and helping me see things differently. Karen Vesey, you guys have been an amazing team for me. My team, my family, my wife, my boy Rocket, our babies, and all of you guys for being so patient. I know I was completely all over the place. I'm sure my script was much better than what I ended up doing, but just life happens, man. Life happens, and I just, I close by saying, I do not know what else I would do if I had to have these moments where I feel things are so pent up and I didn't have the incredible protected outlet of songwriting. So thank you guys.